Well, good morning, Knicks Nation. Today is Friday. Happy Friday. February the 26th, 2021. I hope you're COVID free and healthy on this Friday. I hope that your family is healthy and COVID free as well. Double blessings on those that work in the healthcare field seeking to save lives, often at the expense of their own. Double blessings on those who pick up garbage and keep our places clean. Double blessings also on those who make deliveries in dangerous times, in dangerous places, in dangerous weather, and they're underpaid as well as the garbage men. Double blessings also on those that are seeking to rescue children from sex trade operations and curses on those that support the sex trade and child pornography industry. Finally, double blessings on those who work for the homeless and those people that are homeless. Shalom to you. So there was a basketball game last night. Yes. Our New York Knicks played the Sacramento Kings. And the Knicks destroyed the Kings last night. <laughs> and man, if you in Knicks Nation, that feels good. The Knicks destroyed the Kings last night. 140 to 121. And, and, and I got some criticism, like Tom Thibodeau did about the 121. We talk about that in a minute. But let's talk about the positives. First, <clears throat> for all of y'all that have been pining for Alfred Payton to be out of the starting lineup, you got your wish. And Derrick Rose was starting last night. Um, and yes, and Derrick Rose scored, I think he scored his first seven shots in a row, man. He was, he was, he was really hyped to be starting. Um, and, and he ended up with 18 points. Uh, I want to tell you though, I mean, you know, a lot of y'all tripping about first, let's not get too crazy about one game. I told y'all one game, whatever, you know, but it was good feeling for the Knicks to win, but Derrick Rose is 32 years old. Okay. So he is not the long-term answer at point guard for us, but he will definitely do this season. He will definitely do <laughs> for this season. There is no doubt. Okay, so yes, he started, the offense started clicking with him. But honestly, if you want to, if you watch the game now, if you actually watch the game, you saw what's going on in the game. Derrick Rose played a great game. Okay, 18 points, uh, six assists, three rebounds, uh, uh, three turnovers, but he played a great game. He was seven for 11 from the field. Um, you know, if we could get that production out of our point guard every night, we're going to be in very good shape. Okay. And I think we can with him this year, at least. So <clears throat> that, that's good. But it was that daggone second unit, man. It was that second unit. It was that second unit that came in and put the smack down on the Kings. The second unit that was led by Emmanuel quickly. The second unit where Alec Burke not only put the nail in the coffin, he drilled nails all around the coffin. 24 points, most of them in the fourth quarter when they started trying to make the run. Uh-uh. He said, no. Alec Burke was lit last night. Eight of 12 from the field. He was, he was, uh, five of eight from three. He had five three points. Most of them, I think, were probably in the fourth quarter because he was, he was lit. It was on fire. But the thing is, it was, the combination of Emmanuel quickly and one Frank Nilakina, who from now on is going to be Frankie Cat because this dude got nine lives. Just a couple of days ago, we was, I mean, I'm just yesterday, I'm tweeting, you know, I wouldn't mind him going to the Raptors or, you know, like somebody said, the Spurs, you know, teams that would let him do what he do without all this drama. But all of a sudden, and I told you, I told you, look at the, the previous video to this one. I told you Tibbs was going to use him. That he, that he was just holding him until, cause he had his tent. Now, Tibbs got decision to make because look, 
when you saw Frank last night, if you was paying any attention, he was mostly on Buddy Health. He was mostly on Buddy Health. And he put the clamps on. Buddy Hell was three of nine. Nine points. He played 30 minutes. Frank put the clamps on that boy. Frank had the clamps on him so tight. Buddy Hell was in, was in the, was in the town after the game saying, somebody go get Nilakina to tell him to take these cuffs off of me. <laughs> Yo. And he had turnovers being created. I mean, he had three steals himself, right? But turnovers were being created because Fox was trying to find hell in the normal spot. And he was nowhere to be found. He was locked down. <laughs> he was locked up. And that's what we're talking about. That crew came in. It was Frank. It was IQ. It was Burks. It was Toppin. It was uh, 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 Gibson. Taj. And they, they put the whooping on the, on the, I mean, they scored 70, the bench now scored 71 points. Out of the 140 the Knicks scored last night, the bench scored 71. Okay. That should tell you, when you hear about the bench outscoring the starting five. Okay. So the bench scored 71. I think the bench for, I think the bench for the Kings scored like 33. 71, 33. There's your ball game right there. It's over. And the thing is, what I realized last night, what some of y'all have been saying, first of all, at this stage of his career, quickly is better coming off the bench. And quickly is better with Frank. Like, okay, we remember this from earlier this season. This ain't nothing new. If you if you really paying attention, some lot of nations don't. They look at what happened the last five minutes. But anyway, when Frank started the season and him and quickly was coming off the bench together in that original rotation, they was playing good together. Okay? And so... I wasn't surprised they gel, but what it was is that it looks like Quick plays better without D Rose than he plays with D Rose. Because apparently, you know, Quick and D Rose are both ball dominant. So even though Quick probably, I mean, Quick does have the talent to play off the ball and D Rose was playing off the ball in Detroit and in Minnesota, you know, at some, at points. D Rose obviously is best with the ball in his hands and quick is best with the ball in his hand. And you put a defender next to IQ and you got what you got last night. I mean, the ball was moving. First of all, I mean, if you notice the Knicks had 24 assists last night, that's among the tops of their game, you know, for the season. They, I think the, the best they did maybe was 27, but they 24 is way better than they've been doing. The ball was moving and, and, they were playing lockdown defense at the top, of, at, you know, at the point of attack. Held couldn't do anything. Now, De'Aaron Fox still gonna go off. Now, De'Aaron Fox is, you know, he's De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox. Remember, I said before that even though D Rose has lost a step, and he has, he is still quicker than eighty percent of the guards in the NBA. That's saying something. At thirty-two, but Fox is one of those cats. He's not quicker. Than. <laughs> not not De'Aaron Fox. Okay. And so Fox played 39 minutes, had 29 points, 9 of 18. He played, I mean, he's a, you know, he's a, he's a budding superstar. That boy is something else. So he kept the game as close as it was. Him and, um, Bonds, Bonds had 22 Bonds and, 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 uh, Fox was keeping them, you know, from really, I didn't want them to score 100. That's what my criticism, I didn't, I didn't want, the Knicks could have held them under 100. You know, you know, we, we have established ourselves as, as, you know, pretty much the top defensive team in the league. I don't want nobody scoring no hundred points on us, much less 121. So, and the Thibodeau said the same thing. Now, nah, we're not having that. So, yeah, they, we won. It was good. It still feels good. We won by 19, but daggone it. We should, I don't want, I didn't want them. It was in the fourth quarter. You know, they had like, it was third quarter. They had still like 70 points. I was like, man, I don't want them scoring a hundred. At that point, I knew the game was over. I didn't want them scoring 100. And you know why I knew the game was over? Because as long as IQ and Quick was coming in the game, they was not coming back. That defense was rough. And then all of a sudden, Burks decided to turn into Larry Bird. <laughs> I mean, dang, come <laughs> Boy, it was a mess, man. And, you know, he threw up a couple of heat checks, and I was glad he did. I said, boy, keep throwing them up there, because everything you're throwing up is going in. <laughs> that dude was nice. So, but the interesting thing now, not just the bench, the bench scored 71 points. Uh, 
Look at these minutes, though. Look, look. The starters. Randall played 31. And, of course, Randall does Randall, man. He had 21 points, 14 boards, 4 assists. He had 5 turnovers, but who cares? He had 21, 14, and, 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 and 4 assists. It's just like we just know that he's going to be there like a rock. He's just going to he's just gonna be solid every night. Okay? And that wasn't even one of his better games. He played 31 minutes. Bullock played 20 minutes. We had five players in double figures, by the way. Which is another thing. I, I like to see six players in double figures. You know, when we really rolling like that. But anyway, five is all right. That's good, though. He had 10 points. Bullock, four of eight, played his defense. And then a couple times he slipped up on defense. And that's when Tibbs pulled him and put Burks in there anyway. Maybe he was tired or maybe he's hurt. Uh, that's possible. Nerlens Noel, solid. Eight points, seven rebounds. He had two blocks, solid. 23 minutes. 20 minutes for Bullock. 31 for, for, for Randall. 23 for Noel. 28 for D Rose and RJ Barrett with 20, 12, 25 points and 12. Now, of course, RJ didn't get as many minutes last night because the second unit was just rolling. What you gonna do? Take Burks out? <laughs> no. No. So. Yeah, the second unit was rolling. That's why he didn't get as many minutes. He had 25 minutes last night. But then look at, look at, uh, okay. So then you got IQ had 20 minutes and Frank played 23 minutes. Why? Defense, man. That, even Tibbs, like, his defense was terrific. I mean, <laughs> that, you know, and that's a per, him and IQ, I just love that pairing, man. Um, man. Then you got, Taj Gibson with 24 minutes. Toppin had 17 minutes, which is, you know, one of the higher minute numbers for him. He played 17 minutes last night, had three points. I mean, he's still trying to get on track. I love Obi's attitude, though. He really, he's really, you know, he's a good kid, man. I like him. And, and um, yeah, so they got to find a way to get him some more minutes anyway. And, and so they got, he got 17 last night. If he was to get, I really believe if you was to, if somehow, they was to get Obi 20 minutes a game at least. You would see his offense come along a lot better. Playing him nine minutes, 11 minutes, 12 minutes, you know, he's not going to come up like that. He's not going to, he can't do anything with that. He's not like a, a microwave shooter, you know, like, like Lou Williams going to come out and just start, start, start gunning. That's not him. He needs time to get, you know, get himself acclimated, get himself in the flow. And if you give him 20 minutes, I don't know how they would do it, but if you give him 20 minutes a game, he would do that. I'm thinking even maybe, <laughs> I hate to do it, but maybe you gotta give him some minutes at the five. I don't know because T Taj Gibson is playing good at the five, so I don't I don't know what they're gonna do. That's a good problem to have, but I don't know how you're gonna find minutes for open. And then some of y'all talking about John Collins. What the hell's wrong with some of y'all? You know we got you know we got too many power forwards already. We had, what's wrong with some of y'all? Don't y'all think about what do you? Anyway, anyway, I like to see Opie get a few more minutes a game. Okay, and, 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 uh, yeah. Okay, but, uh, quick, and quick was good. Quick was gunning. You know, when he's gunning and he's scoring, nobody will say anything, right? Cause he's, he's hitting his shots. I mean, he was five of 10 from the field, three of six from, from three point land, 12 of 12 from the line, 25 points. What are you going to say? But a couple of times people was open and he just was gunning. So whatever, you know, I mean, it does drive me a little crazy to see, but. What you gonna do? He he is a gifted scorer, so you gotta let him do what he do until until it becomes too evident and obvious. He needs to chill a little bit. Frank was three of six from the field. He had three steals, two assists, and he did cause a couple of turnovers as well as the steals, just from you know putting the clamps on Buddy Hell. I still hear him. Somebody get the keys to these handcuffs. Tell Nilla King to get the keys. <laughs> I love to see defense like that, baby. Okay, so um yeah, so it was it was a you know nice night in New York last night. Crowd little crowd was out there. Um, you know, but we gotta do better again. The third quarter, y'all. Look, third quarter. Okay, so the third quarter last night, the Kings outscored us 32 to 24. Now we ended up winning the game, you know, because of how we did all the other quarters. We dominated them, but them third quarters got, we have to, and Tibbs knows that. He said it last night when he said, we have not learned to play 48 minutes of good basketball yet. And he is absolutely right. Okay. There is no way in hell the Sacramento Kings should have got 121 on us last night. That's no. 
And then we got to do better in these third quarters. At least play it even. We, we, they, they beat us 32 24 in the third quarter. We are just a terrible third quarter team. We got to do better. Which brings me to the next point. Right now, right today, Friday, the 26th of February, as I speak to you, the Knicks are tied for the fifth seed in the East. The Knicks are 16 and 17, 9 and 7 at home. Since this road, since this homestand, the Knicks are, I think, 5 and 1 at home. They're 5 and 2, over, you know, because they had that one game where they lost in Orlando. They had to travel, so in this homestand. So they're 5 and 2. They're, they're playing very well at home. Uh, and that, and they're overall, they're 9 and 7 at home, uh, 16 and 17 overall. Uh, Indiana is in the fourth seed at 15 and 15. So that this game this weekend against Indiana is huge. I want to see the Knicks come out with playoff intensity again in this game. Why? If they beat Indiana this weekend, they become 17 and 17 at just about the midway point of the season, two games before the midway point of the season. They come out 17 and 17. And they'll be at 500, which is way better than anybody expected. They'd be in the fourth spot in the East. They'd be in the fourth seat. Okay. And so, and it would set the tone going forward. Even though this season is only 72 games, it feels longer for a couple of reasons. All the COVID drama, you know, makes it feel longer. And then, of course, the season is moving, has moved, is moved forward a little bit. Generally, the season starts in October, late October is when the NBA season started. This year, I think we started in December. So everything has moved a little forward. So it seems a little longer than it is, even though it's only 72 games. And the second half is a grind. I mean, there's going to be, a, the Knicks are playing, I think, mostly on the road. They're really trying to kill the Knicks in the second half. They, they playing a lot of road games in the second half of the season. Um, and I know it all evens out. It's supposed to be 36 and away and 36 at home. Maybe it is, but it just seems like the Knicks are playing a lot of away, uh, away games the second half of the season. And also, aside from that, they, they have, they, apparently they don't have the most back to backs like they probably did the first half, but they still got a lot of back to backs, uh, in the second half. So it's just like Thibodeau said, um, everybody, we're going to need everybody to play. We're going to need everybody to play. Okay. Um, you know, it's just going to be that way. So at this point, I'm hoping, and I think, I don't think Tibbs is stupid. I think Alfred Payton needs a few more days rest on that hamstring. Don't y'all? I, th I think he needs to rest a few more days, make sure he's healthy. So, you know, let, let's leak this. Let's let, let's run this thing, you know, the way we run it. And let, let's let him get some rest, right? Okay. So I think he should run the same way against Indiana. Indiana is a much better team, obviously, than Sacramento. Much better team than Sacramento. Um, and this is not going to be easy. Good thing is that they're coming here to our place to play, but um, this is not going to be an easy game. So they're the fourth seed, and they're not going to want to lose that fourth seed spot. They're 15 and 15. A loss to us would bring them under 500. They definitely do not want that. So this is going to be a tough game this weekend, but it's a big game for the Knicks. I want them to come out with playoff intensity right here. This is a little test. Right here. Okay. Because like I said, we could get the 500. We could take the fourth seed with this win right here. So we got to do this. Um, and, and, and I want him, Tibbs, that is, play that same crew. Go, go just like with that same lineup. Starting five the same, bench the same. And we're going to need it because Indiana is good. So and today's Friday. So that's tomorrow night. That's tomorrow night's game. Yeah. So that, hey, good job, Knicks. Good job, Knicks. Knicks Nation, we, we, we doing something. Um, let, let's, let's get this, let's get this W tomorrow night. Have a good weekend. Be safe out there. Shalom.